Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your computer. You don't need to buy a brand new one anytime soon. This is so easy to do. Anyone can do it. Save you time and money in two ways. I did both ways. The first way is to install memory. Within 5 minutes, adding more memory allows the computer to boost performance, loading faster, and handling commands. The second way is to install a solid state drive, which will take a few hours to do. This is going to replace the hard drive to be faster, use less power, and it's quieter. I will be installing both methods because my computer is super slow. You can start with either one first according to your budget cracked open my Audible app to listen to a suspense Audible book. It's a bestseller while filming and it's so good. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I listen to a lot of Audible books. They have 180,000 titles to choose from. Go to audible.com slash beauty splurge and get your free Audible book of your choice with a 30 day trial membership. Thanks to Audible, I have the link down below. So let's begin with the first installment, your RAM. Be going to make sure your desk is clean. Put away any paper and plastic to avoid static electricity because you want to protect your system from any static damage during installation process. Keep that desk clean. So what is RAM? It's also known as a random access memory to allow your computer to perform many tasks at once like having a bunch of windows open to browse different websites and running programs faster. The first step you need to know what kind of RAM you need. I go to about this Mac to find out what kind of computer I have. I have an Apple laptop. For desktop users it's pretty similar. For PC users follow along with your owner's manual to see how easy this is. Since I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch 2012 and there's only 4 gigabytes in the memory. For Apple computers, you can get memory on apple.com under accessories, selecting the type of computer you have. I prefer searching on crucial.com because it has all the computer brands out there, even if you don't have an Apple, so it has it on here. Select your manufacturer, your product line, and also your model. Let's see if I can get an upgrade. This will tell me what kind of memory I can get in the price range, which costs about $30 to $115. You can shop here. I actually shopped on Amazon for a cheaper price for $105 for a total of 16 gigabytes. Plus, it comes with free shipping if you have Prime. I will provide links down below so you can shop around for the best price. As you can see on Apple, it costs way more. Step 3, wait for the mailman and get your memory card. And you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew the back of the computer. I use a kit for eyeglass repair to see which size fit the best and this is the one. Last thing, a container to hold your screws so you don't end up losing it during this process. Step 4, shut down my computer and flip over my laptop so the back is facing me. With my Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to turn counterclockwise to remove the screws from the back of my laptop. There will be 7 short ones and 3 long ones. So I made sure to know where the short and long screws go once I place them back. All done, time to remove the back of the plates and locate the home of the RAM, which is right here. Step 5, I'm going to remove the old RAM by pushing the side out. Here, click. And this is what holds the RAM in place. And remove the second chip. Alright, next install the new RAM by having the gold strip facing you like it is to me. And then you're going to insert it to the bottom slot first by pushing down until you hear a click. Really easy, isn't it? Do it again if you have another chip. It took me 5 minutes to do and it's not that bad. Replace the cover back, add in your screws and turn on the power. Once the power is on, you get to open up a bunch of windows at the same time to see how fast it is. You see a huge difference. Okay, now we're going to go on to the second process as an option to convert your hard drive to an external storage and replace it with a solid state drive. Basically, give you extra speed and store more files. Now you're going to go on crucial.com to find out what solid state drive you're going to need for your computer. Again, just like you did for your memory. 
The price ranges are pretty expensive, so pick the one that suits your budget. I picked this one 512 gigabytes on Amazon. Next, you're going to download a software that's going to transfer all the data you have in your computer right now from your hard drive into your solid state drive. So I'm using super duper. I have the link down below. It's shirtpocket.com. Next, I need to transfer the data onto a SATA USB docking station or a SATA cable like this one. I prefer using a docking station because I have a lot on file. So in order for it to run smoothly, pick the docking station over the cable. You're going to plug this into the power and also connect it to your computer. I have turned on the docking station and placed my solid state drive inside. Your computer opened up this utility. You can find it under applications or search for it. Click on to your new drive and hit erase. It's going to be named untitled. Click erase again to confirm. Now open up super duper, convert your Macintosh hard drive to your untitled drive, your solid state one, and you're going to click on backup all files and click copy now. This can take like an hour to five hours depending how much data you need to transfer. Once it's complete, you're going to go to the next step, which is click on to your untitled new drive and it should have all your applications on there. So nothing should be missing. Once you confirm that, you're going to turn off your computer, shut it down, make sure it's completely turned off. Now I'm going to remove the solid state drive, which is SSD from the docking station and disconnect the power. Now unscrew the back of the laptop and locate the hard drive. You can't miss it. Start unscrewing the side facing towards the center of the computer. Remove this bar first. Once that's out, you're going to unscrew the last two. The hard drive is attached to a clear tab, so gently lift it up and it's connected to this thin ribbon. Gently pull that connection off. You don't want to destroy that ribbon because it's going to destroy your computer. So be careful. The hard drive is connected by four torque screws. I use a torque screwdriver. I got it on Amazon too. The link is down below. Remove these because it's going to be placed onto or into our solid state drive. We're ready to install. So with the SSD, you're going to place those torque screws on each side of the holes. So that's four and place onto the cable connected and you want to add that sticky clear tab onto my new solid state drive so it could be easier for me to remove later on if I do decide to upgrade it to a more expensive solid state drive but for now this is pretty good to increase the speed of my editing programs while having like 20 windows web browsers and different programs playing my music just everything it just makes it so fast like it's brand new turn on your computer it should upload quickly and check out all your storage information make sure it says correctly how much storage you have and your upgraded memory which for me is 16 gigabytes so that's pretty awesome now you can upcycle that hard drive into a flash drive I'm using this SATA kit that I showed you earlier to transfer data if you wanted to. But I like this one just to protect the case of the hard drive. Now I can use this as a backup to store all my files and videos later on. Just in case I just want to store things that I don't want to put on the computer if ever my computer dies. This is a great external drive that has a lot of storage itself. And yeah, just plug it in and give it a go. You'll see all your files that you have already just in case. So make sure to subscribe for new videos and check out my old videos too. Love you guys. Bye.